Welcome back to the Campbell Tech channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to implement a Fluent Builder in Java. The Builder is a creational design pattern that enables you to separate the construction of a complex object from its representation. By utilizing the same construction process, the Builder can be used to create different representations of an object. Now, at first glance, you might say this is an entire overkill. Why can't we just instantiate an object and set its property values? That's a very good question. But let's look at a few advantages of using the Builder pattern. Firstly, it encapsulates object construction logic. It provides a fluent interface for readable code. It supports step-by-step -step construction of objects. It gives you control over object creation and validation. It enhances code readability and maintainability. It enables creation of immutable objects. And last but not least, it facilitates easy creation of object variations. Okay, so now it's time to actually go ahead and implement our Fluent Builder. So the first thing that we need to do is to create the object that we are going to build. And we are going to base this example on a social media post use case. So let's go ahead and create a new class and then we can call that social media post. Now a social media post generally contains some text, a title, an author, a date posted, and then optionally some tags like hashtag design patterns, for example. It could also contain an image and it could possibly also contain a few links. Now let's go ahead and add fields for each of these characteristics of a social media post. So we can start with a string field for the title of the social media post. Then let's add another string field for the content. Now the content is the text part of the social media post. Let's also add a string field for the author of the social media post. We can also add a field for the date that the social media post was posted. So we'll use local date time as the type and let's call it date posted and let's also add a list of string and we could call this tags so that is for your hashtags if you want to add those to your social media post and then we could also add a uri field for the image URI and then last but not least we can add a list of URI for the links. Now the builder is convenient for adding different representations of an object. Now like I've already said some posts will only contain text and then also probably a title an author and the date that that post was posted. Other posts might have one or more tags, some might have images or not, and then some might have some links or not. Links to other videos or blogs or courses, whatever you want to add in there. It could also be coupon links if you are selling something or promoting some content as an influencer. Okay, so the next thing is to go ahead and add some setters. So in IntelliJ, you can conveniently right click and say generate setter. And then I'm just going to select all of the fields here. Okay, so next we are going to override the two string method to print out the values of our fields. And we can do that by saying alt insert. And then we will select two string. And then here we can say, what do we want to concatenate in our two string method? You can obviously do this manually if you want, but IntelliJ conveniently helps us with this. So I'm just going to select all fields and click on OK. So here it says social media post. 
and it prints out values for each of the fields. So this is going to be very handy after we have built our social media post object with our Fluent Builder to actually validate if it has done so correctly. Okay, so the next step is to actually go ahead and create our Fluent Builder and we can create another class and call it Social Media Post Builder. All right, so the first thing to do in the builder is to create a private field for our object that we are going to build. So that will be the social media post object. Let's call it post equals new social media post. Okay, we can make this a final object. And then normally what I like to do is to first create the build method. So that's the method that returns the constructed social media post object. It'll always return the type that you're building. So this will be social media post. It will also be a public method. And then we can simply call it build. It won't take in any arguments. And like I said, it'll simply return post. Okay, so this is the last method that you'll call in your Fluent Builder. Okay, now let's go ahead and add our Fluent Builder methods. The first one that we can go ahead and add is a method for adding the title to the social media post. So we can say public. Now importantly, to make this a Fluent Builder, it needs to return itself and specifically the instance that you are using to construct your social media post object or the object that you are building. So in other words, the type that you need to return is social media post builder. It'll make more sense just now. So this is for adding a title. So let's call it add title. It'll take in a string argument, call it title. And then you'll simply say post dot set title you can pass in the title and then importantly return this in other words this instance of the social media post builder okay so this is our first fluent builder method let's go ahead and add another one i'm going to copy the first there the second thing that we want to add is the content of the social media post like i said that's the text content we can say set content and then pass the content there next we can go ahead and add a fluent builder method for adding the author so again copy that previous method there and then we can say add author this will be author and set author okay as you can see it's extremely easy to add fluent builder methods to our social media post builder the next one is to set the post date now you'll often see that some people prefer with author or set author i like to say add author but it's really much of a muchness you can use whatever method names that you want. So next up is adding the post date, but on that note, I'm gonna call it set post date. And then it's gonna take in a local date time argument. We can call it post date and then set date posted pass in the post date oh, it should be local date time and not just local date let's add the import there all right now it's happy okay so next up is adding a tag to our list of tags so this method will look slightly different we will say add tag it's a string it tag now the first thing that we need to do here is to see if the tags 
list has already been instantiated or not. So we just need to go ahead and add a getter on our social media post for our list fields. So we can do so by again in IntelliJ generate getter. You can do this manually if you want, but it's convenient to just generate them here. So there we've got our two getters, one for get tags and one for get links. So if we go back here, we can say if post dot get tags equals null, then we can go ahead and instantiate it. So we can say post dot set tags and then we can say new array list right and then we can simply say post dot get tags dot add and then we'll add our new tag to the list of tags all right so that's all we have to do we can copy this for the links because uh, that's also a list so we can say add link Let's just change the argument type to a URI object because links are URIs. And then we can also go ahead and say post.getLinks if it's null. Then we'll say set links new array list. All right, and we can go ahead and add that link to the list of links, but not tags. Get links all right then we have one final fluent builder method that we need to add and that's for adding an image to the social media post so again i'm just going to copy a part of this method and we'll say add image uri image uri and then we can simply Go ahead and copy this part for simplicity's sake. Say set image URI and we pass in the image URI and return this. Okay, so now we have a fluent builder that allows us to add a title to the social media post object, the text content of the social media post, the author that is posting this post the date that the post is posted, tags, an image, links, and then we return the constructed social media post object. Now you'll see in Java that developers generally add a static method that returns a new instance of the builder on the object that the builder is building. Add a public static method that returns the social media post builder and then they'll call the method builder and then importantly this method will always return a new instance of the social media post builder or the relevant builder that is responsible for building the specific object okay so as you have guessed the final thing that we need to do now that we have our object that we are going to build the social media post object and our builder that is responsible for building this object the social media post builder we can go ahead and actually use this builder in our main method so now i'm going to show you how you can use the fluent builder to build a particular object. So we are going to build a social media post object with our Fluent Builder. So let's say social media post, let's say post equals, then we'll say social media post dot builder. And then on the new line, we can start building our social media post with our Fluent Builder. So let's say dot add title, Let's add a title such as the builder design pattern. I'm just going to invoke the build method so that this fluent builder actually compiles. 
Okay, so next let's add the content of the social media post. I'm just gonna say some interesting facts about the builder. I'm not gonna actually type that out now. Then we can say add author. I'll use my own name here, Sean Campbell. Then we can set the post date. We can say local date time dot now. And then we can say add tag. Let's say hashtag design patterns. Add tag. Let's say hashtag Java. So you can obviously add as many tags as you like. So like I've said, the builder is used to create different representations of the same object. So we not obligated to use all the builder methods. So let's skip adding an image. So let's say we want to go ahead and add a link to a specific video, for example, in our post. So then we can say add link. And I'm just going to say HTTPS some link dot io right so that's not working because the type is a uri so we can say new uri and pass in the uri there okay so now it wants us to handle the exception so let's go ahead and say surround with try catch and i'm simply going to say e dot print stack trace for the sake of simplicity okay so that's all we have to do to use our Fluent Builder. I'm just going to fix the indentation here. All right, that looks much better. And then finally, let's print out the constructed social media post object. So I'm just going to cut that, put it in here and say system.println post. Right. Okay, so let's go ahead and run our main method. And as you can see, there we have social media post. We've got the title, the builder design pattern. We've got content, some interesting facts about the builder. The author, Sean Campbell, the date posted. This is the date and time that I have recorded this video. And then we've got some tags, hashtag design patterns, hashtag Java. I didn't set an image URI. And then we've got a single link, HTTPS sumlink.io. So as you can see, it's extremely simple to implement a Fluent Builder in Java. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please like it and subscribe to our channel so that we can give you more awesome videos like these.